We've learned this a while ago. So you can tell me that if you have a sum, a plus b, and you square the whole thing, what's our expansion? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So, textbook, right? Now, this is not on the reference sheet, partly because it is so easy to learn. However, it's been a while since we used this. Algebra is so simple, we often don't worry about it. So this is the kind of place where silly mistakes really creep in, okay? Bit of an aside. Your HSC exam, which you're going to sit uh, next October, in mathematics, it's composed of two well-defined sections, okay? There's questions 1 to 10. Does anyone know? Does anyone have an older sibling who knows what questions 1 to 10 are? Questions 1 to 10 are multiple choice, okay? So A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, etc. Then you get, in the remainder of your three hours, question 11, question 12, 13, all the way to 16, okay? The easiest questions in the paper are right there in question 11. I'll explain why in a minute it's not question 1 to 10, maybe a bit later on. But question 11, in the HSC, has questions like this. And people, year 12, 17 and 18 year old students who've been seeing these things for years, still get them wrong. Anyone suggest to me why, how on earth, people like us could mess up something so simple? Any thoughts? Yeah. Okay, number one, you're everything you're like, ooh, this is the HSC. It looks easy, I must be doing something wrong. Okay, that, that happens. Yes, good. Other reasons? This is quite early in the paper. Has anyone ever had that experience where you're doing stuff in the morning and you're like, man, what was I thinking when I did that? Well, you probably weren't thinking because your brain has just gotten started, right? So you haven't warmed up, so you make lots of silly errors in there. The most common error for this is when people say that it's a squared plus b squared. It's a pretty easy mistake to make, right? How would you prove to someone that they're wrong? That it's not a squared plus b squared? Okay, well, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be little Johnny confused here for you right now. And I'm gonna say, but I did expand it. That's the expansion. Expansion means get rid of the brackets. No brackets. I'm done. Put two brackets like do a plus b. Okay, so here's another way I could do it. I could say this. Right? Are you happy with that? Okay. To which my response is, yeah, yeah. But a, that's a squared, and then there's b squared. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> What's, come on, you're wasting my time here. Does someone want to give me a better suggestion? What do you reckon, Eric? Get into factorizing. Get into factorizing. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, there's an A being squared and a B being squared, and you're adding them, right? Come on, guys, really? Is that it? Hmm. Okay, now these are not all bad suggestions. You're fine. They often would work if little Johnny Confused wasn't so confused. Okay, his middle name is very. Here's what I would suggest instead. Uh, there was clearly a problem here, wasn't there? What was the problem? What did I do wrong? What should I have done? Yeah. I should have multiplied um, both brackets by each other more. Like. <laughs> okay, just pause there. Absolutely correct. Do you realize how hard this is, what we're doing, right? And you're going to have to do it. Things that you think you know, I actually would contend that most of us don't know. We have just practiced really hard. And so we're quite good at reciting. But you're extension students now. It's not going to cut it, OK? See these things here right on the extension side? It's not going to be enough. Just have a look at that top right-hand corner. Just have a look at that one for a second, OK? I know at the moment, oh, so I, I took them back. Never mind. Um, there's a little heading there that says acceleration, OK? And then there are five expressions that all look like algebra. And um, you, they all apparently are acceleration, OK? Now, if all you've got is what you have right now, well, yeah, but this is the way I've done it in all those previous questions. And you can't actually explain and get past here, we're going to be in trouble. Okay. I think the word we're looking for here, you might want to write this, is the distributive law. Does that word ring a bell? Does that phrase ring a bell? The distributive law. When you take something and you multiply it across brackets, you don't just pick and choose, you distribute. Right? So you're multiplying everything in here by A and everything in here by B. Does that make sense? That's where those two ABs come from. Okay? Can I give you one more illustration? I need you all to draw this for me. Get a ruler out if you have one. Draw for me A square. Make a decent size. 
Uh, I haven't said anything about diagrams yet because this is only our second lesson, so I'm going to say it right now. The smallest diagram you should draw should be about the size of your palm. Your palm, not your hand, your palm. Okay? Uh, you may have a small palm. That's, that's okay, I, I guess. Um, that means that you'd probably be shorter and closer to the page, so relatively, I don't know, anyway. <laughs> palm size minimum, okay? And usually, like when we're doing graphing, you guys have done graphing for a couple of years, uh, for sure. Uh, sometimes those take up like a third of a page. So if you've got a nice square there, we're going to turn this square into this square, yeah? Like that's how we call it square. No one reads that as to the power of two. Right? And there's a reason why, it's because of geometry. Okay. Now, it's uh, A plus B squared, okay? So if I'm trying to translate this thing into this thing, what's the side length? What's the side length of the square? A plus B. A plus B. I don't know what A plus B are, uh, A and B are. So I'm just gonna make some random division like that. Let's just call that side A and that side B. And we, we can move it around if we like, these could be varied. If that's A plus B, uh, that means I've got an A plus B going down here as well, don't I? So let's see how well I can do this. You've got a ruler, so you can do this more accurately than I can. But if it's a square, there's A plus B, there's all, also A plus B. Hmm. I'm just going to pause for a brief moment. One of the things you're going to have to get used to in this class is being uncomfortable. Being comfortable is you get given a question and then I give you the answer straight away. That's comfortable. It's comfortable, but you don't learn very much when I do it that way. I want you to look at this diagram for a second. You gave me some explanations for why these are untrue. I want you to think if you had this diagram, what could you do to explain this? Hmm. What do you write this? Say that again a bit louder. Um, <coughs> divide the square into fours. I could divide this square. Right? I will divide this square because just like this has geometric meanings here, like side length, okay? this has geometric meanings too. Can you see where A squared is? Can you see it? It's not there yet, but can you see it? Where should I draw some lines? Where should I do them? There, there, you know, in the place with the spot and the guy and the stuff. You have to be precise in mathematics. Your language really matters. How about a vertical line, where would you like me to place it? How about on my dividing line, my dividing spot between A and B? Okay, so there. Now give me some language, where would you like me to put the other line? And what kind of line will it be? It should be a horizontal line, and I'm going to do the same thing. Is that enough of an argument? Is that convincing? I think it's pretty convincing for us now, having spent the last 10 minutes thinking about it, but um, your, your friend Johnny Confused needs a little more nudging. What could you add to this to make it absolutely watertight? Any suggestions? Show that the two bits that aren't A squared or B squared equal to AB. Yeah, yeah, good. Where, where is A squared? Well, you told me, you could see, it was here. Right, there's A squared, where's B squared? There he is, right, yeah, diag thank you, diagonally across, okay, so there's B squared. So what's left over? This is A, B, and this is, are you convinced now? I'm convinced, okay. In mathematics we call this proof, proof really matters, you're going to be doing a heck of a lot of it, okay. This is the first result. If you've already downloaded the textbook, as uh, some of you have mentioned, you can see they also talk about not just the square of a sum, but the square of a difference, and also the uh, difference of squares, which I referred to on the, um, on the reference sheet. I won't force you to do this, but if you're interested, if you had to make an argument like this for these guys, I wonder how you would do it. Okay. Just a bit of a challenge. Okay, 